Hello and welcome to another update video about mana. Yeah, I had a lot of requests for another updated mana video. Um, mana has obviously dropped significantly and pretty much the entire um, price appreciation of the last year, end of last year, has been corrected down again. So at the time we hit this target area in blue, we hit this target area in blue. Um, I haven't yet defined a new one because I haven't covered mana for a really long time actually. So let's talk about it. Um, unfortunately, pretty much we have to talk. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty much come down to that 88.7% Fibonacci level here at 66 cents, um, 66, 67 cents between that, between the 88.7% Fib level and the 78.6. So between 67 cents and 126. So this is sort of the area where the price really needs to turn around in an ideal case. And we've seen very good. We've already had a massive reaction actually to that 88.7% FIB level. That is impressive, that is good, and that is healthy. So from here, it has moved up now uh, pretty much 100%. So that's good. So let me highlight that target area here because this is the area where um, already back in November, we formulated target areas for many other cryptos. Um, and I can only do it now, obviously, for MANA because this target area that we had here, was basically invalidated by um, or with the price making even lower lows. Yeah, it looked for a while like, okay, we could maybe hold this support level, but then we had to go now to the higher level wave count in the end, as I had to do it for many other cryptocurrencies as well. And I remember, and that was the sandbox chart, I think. <laughs> I remember when we were up here that, um, but this was sandbox and I said, oh, this could play out like Cardano. So in the end it did. It did, yeah, we came down because they started the correction much later. They actually started the correction in end of November where um, Cardano started the correction already early in September and obviously was much more advanced in the overall correction. The thing is that Cardano's correction is just less steep and the MANA correction is quite uh, has quite accelerated here in the last few weeks and the whole um, Metaverse crypto space was really, really suffering in the last few weeks. Um, to move that aside. Um, there will be some mid video techno going on in a minute here when that video is finished. <clears throat> anyway, let's, <laughs> let's continue. So this is the area that it ideally needs to hold this 67 cent level. This is, um, obviously from a high level point of view, this year all was a wave one. Yeah. A large wave one. And this year is a wave two, a corrective wave two. And in a wave two prices typically come down into sort of this price range below between the 88.7 and the 78.6%. Fibonacci retracement levels. Here they need to turn around. Mid video techno. All right, so here they need to turn around. If they don't, yes, they can drop a little bit lower, but very honest with you, there isn't any support left here, at least not on this chart below 39 cents. So I'm going to try to find a chart later with a little bit more of a history, maybe for the next video, that we can see if there will be another support level below 39 cents. But for me, this is really the worst case where it definitely needs to find support, then turn around. Wouldn't be dramatic to drop below the target area here for a short period, but it needs to find support at least where, where the last support level is. So from here, then it could turn around. And for now, it's not unusual for those cryptos to come down that much. Um, pretty much all other cryptos have come down into this region. And my view is that most cryptos are doing this wave one and the wave two down. This here was an AB see a more complex correction, probably have to do a, a WXY pattern here or something, um, which in the end doesn't make a difference. So overall, um, we could possibly see, if we go to the four hour chart, that two possibilities, either the low is already in here because we had such a strong reaction or in line with other cryptos, there will be another low. My feeling is there will be another low. Um, but what MANA could do, because we had such a strong reaction here to the 88.7% FIP level, when the other uh, cryptos make a lower low, and I still think a lot of them will do, that MANA will just do a higher low. Yeah, this remains to be seen. Um, it's currently looking a bit like here, a little bit different to the other cryptos, looking a bit like that this could become a bullish flag. Yeah, and this year could be already um, a preparation for another breakout. So we need to watch the chart closely here in the next few hours and days, because this is interesting. 
um, mana has been holding really well here after the imp impulse up and we have a yeah a wedge a descending wedge here which normally more likely than not would break to the upside now in a first instance mana would need to go above 126 127 this 78.6 percent fib level and then in the next move at least break above the previous swing high at 167. that is also what it could do with that bull flag here break above that level and then it will unlock higher price levels all the way up to two dollars and 24 and then we're already getting into uh, more interesting price ranges here but um, for now congratulations for anybody who was able to grab um, some mana at 66 67 cents um, and yeah it, it shouldn't drop below that level what do the indicators do indicators for mana they are already a little bit more advanced than for many other cryptos so for example for bitcoin we can see that this daily bullish crossover is still coming mana already did it here a few days ago so solana cardano bitcoin they're currently working on a bullish crossover on the daily mana already did that yeah so it the chart generally looks a little bit more bullish the indicators as well however on the rsi we're still in the bearish range and on the adx here we still have a short signal so at the moment it's still uncertain um, and especially here we still have a reducing uh, volume no surprise because we are in this descending wedge so i think we have to wait at the moment for the breakout of that wedge um, it's good that we have a formation like that because this could always be a trading opportunity for anybody who wants to take it such a wedge in this case a bull flag could move to the upside doesn't need to if it breaks to the downside i think we're going to see price levels probably of around um, the previous low again which would be let's take a look I and mean, we've got a few lows here few support levels so in the first instance one dollar and eight 98 cents and then that previous swing low here around um, the 88.7 fib level at 66 cents now to finish that video off what i would like to show you is what would be actually the price projection for mana um, for the next bull run for a wave three yeah because this year was a wave one this year is a wave two what would be the price projection but be aware that at the moment the whole space is risky um and mana is not particularly the crypto that my view is has a bright future i just don't like that metaverse i mean i've tried it and i don't see the point but that is just me maybe i i yeah that is just me um it, it's a very small team as well a uh, few programmers and it's very empty there so try it you know try the central land but here it would take us to ten dollars and 21 so pretty much a 10x that would be the minimum target for the next larger wave to the upside but it's too early to talk about that first of all we need to finish the correction gut feel is it's not over yet um i still expect a drop for many other cryptos but it's a good sign that mana had very strong reaction to that 88.7 percent fibonacci retracement level yeah so that's my view about mana um hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye